up everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video um, as you can see got a cabin here behind me we uh, we came down to um, Bear Wallow this weekend uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend so happy Thanksgiving which is tomorrow today is Wednesday evening uh, you probably won't see this video until a little while after Thanksgiving um, we got a couple more videos to come out before this one does um, but I wanted to show you around uh, I've, I found this place several several months ago maybe even last year uh, I saw it on Facebook it was called Adams Cabins um, seemed like a, a nice little getaway uh, Barrel wall is one we haven't really ridden before. I think we're here for just a couple hours one time passing through. Um, but other than that, never rode the trail system before. So we figured we'd had a long weekend. We might as well come here, check it out, get a couple. Uh, there's some outlaw trails around here I want to hit. Um, but uh, I wanted to, to stay at this place. Um, Chuck, the, uh, the owner, uh, it is really nice i met him um, at the end of his driveway of his house he brought us up here um, really nice cabins are, are cheap cabins are really nice there's three of them up here that's why i'm starting um, his property kind of starts down here and goes this way and we're all the way up at the end um, so we'll take you up there we'll show you around where we're staying uh, it's the biggest of the three that he has up here um, but I talked to him for a little bit he showed us around um, really really nice guy uh, so and it's I think he said it's like two and a half miles from the Bear Wallow connector trail um, 11 and 17 I want to say that it runs from Chapmanville down towards Logan it's like almost right in the center somewhere there I'll show you on the map but um, we're actually parked his driveway starts down here comes right up around this tight turn here and up um, with our truck and trailer I wasn't able to make this turn uh, it was a it was a little too slick um, I didn't really have that great attraction it was really tight on and the trailer is really long you can see so I wasn't able to make this turn so I'm just gonna park there and we hold everything up in the uh, side by sides to the cabin so uh, he said that he was probably going to take some of this and uh, maybe widen it. So if you're as long as we are uh, and you want to stay here, maybe just ask if uh, if he thinks that you'll be able to make it. Um, we're, you know, 30 foot trailer, 3 foot tongue, you know, 18, 20 foot truck, whatever. So we're pretty long. But, um, yeah, I wanted to show you each cabin. I'll start down here and take you up. They come ready to go, fully furnished. Linens, all kinds of stuff. Jump in the side side here and we'll, we'll take you up through, show you. Should be a good time this weekend. Pretty excited to ride Bear Wall. Here is the other smaller cabin. He provides firewood, propane grill or charcoal grill and that stuff. And there's our cabin. I'll take you in there and show you that. Nice big yard out back. There's the fire pit. Let's see. Let's go check it out here. Got a nice little deck. Dog's gonna hang out on. Got a little swing gate here. Dog's barking at me. Oh, it's just me. Hey. What up? Bed. That's your bed. <laughs> trying to find a nice As you can see, TV, Wi-Fi, 
full kitchen. Coop taking a nap. Bedrooms. I was going to scare you. <laughs> There's one queen. And a little dresser. The bathroom. Full bathroom. Towels and everything are included in your stay. Got two rollaway beds. It's a pretty nice place. It's a nice cabin feel. I like it. You going to take a nap before I run? Yep. <laughs> Still light out. Yeah, come on. There's the grill. Take you guys around back here. Let you see the whole thing. Stay. Let you see around back here. When you do have a trailer, you can come all the way back in here and, and turn around. There's the water water hose there, but. There's the outside of the cabin. So we'll be here. Today's Wednesday evening. We're going to get out here for a, a quick little ride today. And uh, we're here Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday morning, um, we're leaving here. And we're going to go to Buffalo Mountain Trail System. And we're going to mess around there for... Uh, Saturday, Sunday, and then we're going to come home Monday. So, that would be a good time over there. Stay tuned for that. should get some good videos. We decided, since we have a long weekend, Buffalo Mountain and Bear Wall are kind of the two that we haven't really ridden a whole lot. So, we wanted to check both of them off the list. Get a couple videos. What are you doing? <laughs> but... Machines are already rock and roll. All cleaned up. Quick little fix there. They keep getting pulled out. Keep getting up against stuff and they get ripped out. I think I got one on this side too. Should be good to go. Rock and roll. I don't think we have I don't think we have anything new. No, nothing new added since since the last video. Um, so, yeah, you guys saw the limit straps on. So, yeah, I think we're good to go. I think we're going to get ready. We're going to head out. Going to hit the trail. Um, not sure what we're going to go see today. We'll probably just check out. Never been on the connector trail. Like I said, we have it's actually never really been up this way before. So, we'll check that out. Probably run down into Logan. Maybe run over, hit a couple bear wallow trails, and then uh, tomorrow we're going to run some, hoping we're going to run some outlaw trails tomorrow. A couple cool sites to show you, so definitely stick around for the next video. That If we can get over there, it's going to be, it's going to be a good time. Um, let's see it. All right, we're going to get loaded up here, and uh, we'll show you kind of the little bits and pieces to the connector trail, down the connector trail, and then we'll see you um, hopefully over at the uh, dirt wall system. All right, we're back at it. We're getting ready to hit the trail. Got my two co-pilots.
we're going to be on the road for, uh, I think he said it's like two miles, a couple miles to the trailhead. I'll show you where we're at here. So, right here is trail 11. This goes up to Chapmanville this way. Right there. And we're just off to the side right here. So we're just going to come over, catch this road down to 11 and 17. And then right here is Logan, there, and then Marawala. So once we run down through there, uh, I'll let you know how, how many miles, how long it took, and all that stuff. But I'm not going to film on the road. That'll just be boring. So we'll see you once we get over there. over three miles 3.1 miles actually add added a tent to that because I, I think I, I waited till we got down the road of here before I turned it on so, but just over three miles to the uh, the actual trail so three miles of road here and back six miles not bad at all so we're gonna go hit the trail here take you along for the uh, connector trail here a little bit
we stopped for uh, for a little break here. Let's see, 78, 77, both double blacks. Um, we just ran up this little connector trail here. Um, it was only a few minutes long, but it took us uh, 12 miles to get from Adams Cabins to the actual this actual Barawalla trail system. So not too bad 12 miles but uh this was the first double block trail we came to 78 don't really see too many videos of double blacks here but uh it looks like it it ends right up there it doesn't look like it's real long so i'll just have sherry uh walk up beside me here film it get a little out of the out of the side by side shot and then uh We'll see what happens after that, but uh, looks like it's only real short. I can see the end up there, so it doesn't look too bad. Just a little, nice little rock crawl. Sherry must be trying to tell me something. Look how little that thing is. It's like the size of my thumb. And it's Coke. I normally drink Pepsi. Here comes Sherry. It's a nice little rock crawl section. and Nothing real, real hard. Um, some big rocks to navigate through, but something fun to mess around on anyway. A lot of this small crawl stuff is just good tire placement. Pointing your tire in the wrong spot can can go bad pretty quick. Right there's where you crawl out of the end. Not too bad.
just got back from our ride. I know there's a lot of me yapping in this video, but um, we just got back and I checked our subscriber account and we're at 3,997. So three more to go until we hit 4,000. Just wanted to jump back on here and say thank you. We appreciate it. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. You can follow along on uh, our family's rides. Um, we go different places, try to film places to stay, places to ride, places to eat, give you guys some information to hopefully help you plan your, your trip. Unfortunately, we're, me and Sherry and the kids and the dogs are the only ones on this trip. Um, All right, stinking battery died mid-sentence. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we're the only ones on this trip. Unfortunately, um, no one else in the in the group can make their schedule work for this. So we're we're flying solo this weekend. Um, usually, when it's just me and Sherry, we try not to to do some of the real hard stuff, just in case anything would happen. So we'll fill it out. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> what are you doing, the poor dog? <laughs> Look at that flex. Alright, I'm going to quit yapping. Um, tune in to the next video. Um, do We'll do some sightseeing. Show you guys some, some cool sights, hopefully. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.